Hello dear students you are welcome in this video students i know many of you are preparing for upcoming examinations and most of the examinations are based on mcqs means multiple choice questions and taking this into consideration we are making videos on multiple choice questions we are actually conducting small tests of 20 mcqs and in each test uh, i have asked you to share your score we also have assigned 40 marks to this small test of 20 questions means each question carries two marks and to get qualify in this exam or in this small test you need to score 50 percent means 20 marks so uh, these videos are meant to make you familiar and understand literary theory through multiple choice questions so students watch these videos carefully we have made a few videos and in the last videos we talked about or we prepared multiple choice questions on feminism, lesbian or gay criticism and Marxist criticism. And this video is the next part in the same literary theory part 4. So dear students as always take a pen and paper note down questions and in front of those questions note down your answers or your options and then calculate the score at the end of this small test so let's start and understand multiple choice questions so dear students we are going to cover in this literary theory part 4 new historicism cultural materialism post colonial criticism stylistics narratology and eco criticism though there are many topics in this video but i have taken only those multiple choice questions which are important from the point of view of examination so these are general questions uh, these questions are based on the importance in your topic so let's have first question number one who coined the term new historicism we have options a j w lever b stephen greenblatt c jonathan dollymore and d louis montrose so please note down your option and here we have correct option b stephen greenblatt coined the term called new historicism so this is important in historicism new historicism question number two stephen greenblatt's book renaissance self-fashioning from more to shakespeare published in 1980 is considered as the beginning of so this book is considered the beginning of options are a new historicism b cultural materialism c stylistics and d eco criticism note down correct option and we have answer to this second question is option a new historicism so Stephen greenblatt's book renaissance self-fashioning from more to shakespeare is considered as the beginning of new historicism so this book is an important in the field of new historicism because it inaugurated the new vistas in this uh, area of criticism or area of analysis in 1980 so if you look at these different theories you will find how these theories have developed uh, right from 1960s onward so we have some theories developed in 1960s 1970s and now we have 1980s in 1980s we have new historicism the very uh, beginning with this text of stephen greenblatt next question question number three dash is based on the parallel reading of literary and non-literary texts usually of the same historical period options are a cultural materialism b post-colonial criticism c eco criticism and d new historicism so here we have a feature of uh, this following theories or uh, criticism literary and non-literary text the parallel reading of these texts and the correct option here we have new historicism basically new historicism is completely based on the parallel reading of literary and non-literary texts now if you think about new historicism we will understand here not only the literary texts are important but non-literary texts also are important because new historicist critics 
find a relation between literary and non literary texts they analyze non uh, analyze literary text based on the parallel reading of non literary text so this is important in new historicism so please understand this next question who defines new historicism as the textuality of history the history historicity of texts so who defined a new historicism options are a steven greenblatt b zonathan dolimore c louis montrose and d richard wilson so who defines in this way and correct option is c louis montrose defines new historicism as the textuality of history the historicity of texts next question number 5 how does new historicist critics analyze a text this is an important question and here we have options a by reading literary text b by reading non literary text c reading literary text in the light of non literary text and d none of the above please note down correct option and we have correct answer option c reading literary text in the light of non literary text so already we talked about this how new historicist critics takes into consideration this non literary texts if they are analyzing a literary text so this is based on the reading of non literary texts so there is close relation according to these critics in literary and non literary texts of the same historical period same historical time next question six the term cultural materialism is made famous by who made cultural materialism famous options are a zonathan dolimore b alan sinfield c steven greenblatt and d a and b please choose the right option and the correct answer is d a and b means zonathan dolimore and alan sinfield made this cultural materialism famous and they talks uh, this cultural materialism in their essay called political shakespeare so political shakespeare is an important essay in the field of cultural materialism if you trace the development of new historicism and cultural materialism you find there is parallel and these two theories are uh, intermingled in a way we can say because in cultural materialism also historicity of those texts is considered and here we have prominent thinkers like um, zonathan dolimore and alan sinfield in the field of cultural materialism next question 7 following is or are the feature or features of cultural materialism so just find out the feature of cultural materialism options are a historical context b theoretical method c political commitment and textual analysis and d all of the above please choose your option note down question number 7 and in front of question number 7 your option and correct option is d all of the above so these are the features of cultural materialism so historical context also is important as we have already talked about new historicism and cultural materialism both are intermingled historical context also is taken into consideration while analyzing a text in the light of cultural materialism so all these are important features of cultural materialism next eight in other world by spivak the empire rights back by ashcroft nation and narration by faba and culture and imperialism by said are important texts in so these texts are important in which critical thought or in which critical school we have options a new historicism b post colonial criticism c eco criticism and d lesbian or gay criticism please note down correct option and correct option is b post colonial criticism if you study post colonial criticism you will find these texts by these authors gayatri chakravarti spivak homi ke baba edward said and uh, ashcroft bill ashcroft are important 
thinkers in post colonial theory in post colonial criticism so these texts are important in the post colonial criticism next question who wrote the wretched of the earth in 1961 please find out the answer options are a franz fanon b gayatri chakraborty spivak c bill ashcroft and d homi baba or homi ke baba please note down correct option and the correct option is a franz fanon franz fanon composed the wretched of the earth now uh, dear students let me tell you that post colonial criticism also is a very broader area of study as we saw in the last video that feminism how covers many theories many sub fields of study in the same way post colonial theory or post colonial criticism also covers many theories or many sub fields in it and you find there are many scholars who are talking about post colonial criticism so there is a a uh, series of these uh, scholars like uh, franz fanon gayatri chakraborty spivak bill ashcroft uh, tiffin homi ke baba there are many next question 10 edward said's dash inaugurated post colonial criticism properly in 1978 options are a orientalism b literature in the modern world C can the subaltern speak and D writing and difference so which text properly inaugurated the post colonial criticism in 1978 and the correct option is orientalism this is the correct answer next question 11 the three phase distinction adopt adapt and adapt is a characteristic of dash a eco criticism b narratology c historical criticism and d post colonial criticism so in which theory you find this phase distinction of adopt adapt and adapt and the correct option is d post colonial criticism we have this three phases in post colonial criticism next 12 joseph conrad's heart of darkness and e m foster's a passage to india are often studied in the light of dash a new historicism b new criticism c post colonial criticism and d eco criticism and this is a very simple question and answer is c post colonial criticism when you talk about joseph conrad's heart of darkness or e m foster's passage to india you will find these texts are studied in the light of post colonial theory or post colonial criticism or post colonial literature so they talks about the various features and traits of post colonial literature next question 13 stylistic studies dash to analyze a literary text what stylistic studies a language b structure c grammar and d all of the above and correct option is d all of the above so stylistics is the study of language study of grammar study of various structures and based on this study it analyzes a literary text so stylistics considers various facets of language structure and grammar so please understand this you will understand stylistics next 14 according to peter barry stylistics is a modern form of ancient discipline called actually stylistics is an ancient discipline or ancient form but it has rejuvenated in modern time and what is it called in the ancient time so there is different name to stylistics in the ancient time please recognize options are a linguistics b rhetoric c oratory and d none of the above and correct option is rhetoric so in plato or aristotle's time this stylistics is known as rhetoric and we have uh, today a new term called stylistics actually it is based on the rhetoric or the science of rhetorics next question 15 conference on style held in 1958 at indiana university published its proceedings in 1960 as options are a style in language b stylistics c essays on style and d essays on style and language 
so there is a conference held on style in 1958 in indiana university and uh, the proceedings of this uh, conference has been published later after two years and these proceedings or this text is very important in the study of stylistics or in the study of style if you think uh, about stylistics you have this uh, modern conference on stylistics and they are presented many papers by many scholars and they have collected all these papers under a title what was that title and the correct option is a style in language so these papers were collected as style in language these are the essays or papers next question 16 dash is the study of the procedure and mechanism of storytelling with how it makes meaning this is a simple question options are a stylistics b narratology c narrative theory and d none of the above and correct option is narratology so narratology is simply a procedure or it is a science of storytelling in which you can study different aspects of storytelling the procedure of storytelling how meaning is created what kind of uh, language is used different types of things you find in narratology so narratology is nothing but a science of storytelling which is very popular nowadays next question 17 who defined eco criticism as the study of the relationship between literature and physical environment we have options a carl krober b michael p branch c cheryl glotfelty and d margaret fuller so uh, eco criticism is nothing but the relationship between literature and nature literature and environment so who defines this eco criticism and correct option is c cheryl glotfelty defined this eco criticism actually she is the founder of this eco criticism in america and uh, she defined the relationship between literature and environment next question 18 the term eco criticism is used in usa united states of america whereas the term dash used in united kingdom or britain so which term is used in britain for eco criticism options are a ecology b eco c green studies and d environmental studies this is also a simple question and the correct option is c green studies so the word green studies is very famous in britain or united kingdom or uk and eco criticism in america next question an important initial text in eco criticism the eco criticism reader landmarks in literary ecology is edited by so who edited this landmark text called the eco criticism reader landmarks in literary ecology options are a cheryl glotfelty b harold from c a and b and d michael p branch who edited this and correct option is c means cheryl glotfelty and harold from edited this text called the eco criticism reader and dear students we have last question in this small test question number 20 dash the founding figure of green studies in britain argued that colonialism and deforestation have frequently gone together in his book the song of the earth published in 2000 so who argued this options are a cheryl glotfelty b zonathan bait c harold from and d robert harrison so uh, he is the founding figure in green studies in britain so who argued this and the correct option is zonathan bait argues so dear students uh, you can understand this green studies and eco criticism actually this is the same branch but they have different normal church in america and in uh, britain so in britain uh, basically this jonathan bait is considered the founding figure in green studies and in america we have cheryl glotfelty so dear students this is all about this small test please calculate your score 
कन्वे यूर स्कोर थ्रू द कॉमेंट्स एंड इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी एनी इश्यू यू कैन डायरेक्टली कॉमेंट मी आई विल आंसर टू यूर क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो अमंग यूर फ्रेंड्स एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब लिटरेचर सिंपली प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस ऑल बेल नोटिफिकेशन आईकॉन थैंक यू वेरी मच लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो